got to go with what they have. What, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I wish I didn't have a problem getting wet. I'm Justin. We're caught off guard. There we go. That's, that's there we go. Good. Look at that. We're all good. Technical problems taken care of. This is the show phone. where we talk about My phone. sex and sex related things, right? Yes. Yes. That is, that is the sex. Show. Anyways. All right, advertisement. Sex. So. <laughs> I'm taking Justin's role today, apparently. How was yeah. your weekend, everyone? It was good. My birthday exactly. weekend was this week, and I turned 22. Happy Woo! birthday! Happy birthday! I didn't know. Woo. It was nice. I am. Um, what you do? Uh, went to Mai on Friday, and then Saturday I went to a movie and did some like coupley things, and then did, Sunday I just went over to my friend's house. Did Drake really go to Mai the other day? Apparently he did. My friend like took a picture of him looking really lame. Oh well, okay. He's not that's sketchy. Oh, exactly. He looks sketchy. Like, yeah, he looks like a creeper. Yeah. Um, he was, and he was sitting like in, I guess, the VIP area, and he was standing kind of behind someone. Mm -hmm. He was like in a shadow, and he was like looking like this. It was, it was really creepy. Yeah. Yeah. We had the Asian Year Festival this weekend. Yay. It was very successful. We raised over five thousand oh, dollars. Very nice. To create a scholarship for Vanderbilt undergraduates to study abroad in Asia. Cool. So it was great. Justin, what about you? What did you do, Justin? I went to Mardi Gras. Oh, really? So yeah. jealous. Shoot. It was crazy fun, I'm not gonna lie. I am a complete idiot though when I get drunk and maybe maybe fucked up quite a few things in my life. How many people did you sleep with? Just not asking, you know, know, like <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, also like zero. No, it's it's a crazy time. Crazy time. That's all I can say about it. That's all I'm willing to say about it. Moving right along. If you haven't been to Mardi Gras yet, you're missing out. Yeah, it's a I'm lot of fun. Next year. I don't care what people say. I am you should. Like, there's no reason I. I it's with that. it's literally go. this weekend. If I ignore how much I fucked up my life, <laughs> funnest weekend I've had. <laughs> Golly, I don't know how to take that. You talk to you. You're going the world. If I ignore that. It's literally the funnest weekend I've had in my whole entire life. But we're getting off topic here. Time out. Okay, this, also. This show, can we not do the call like two seconds before the end? Go yeah, if you're going to call us, show. please do call us. 322 2975. Again, that number is 615 322 2975. Last semester, not last semester, last week, we had a, uh, we helped one lady figure out how to. Michelle? Michelle, how to figure out how to achieve orgasm. I hope you, you should call us back and how, let us how that went. Really quick, trying to get those words out. Before yeah, the end of the show. some clitoral action there. Maybe. Everything. everything. It's everything, apparently. <laughs> I don't really know. So, this week is... I mean, hold on. Just kidding. I just want to interrupt you again. Go ahead. Uh, I, was, I, was, I was leaving the cliffhanger for somebody else to fill in the blank. This weekend is... This week we're talking about... I what, the email. Sex. <laughs> breakup etiquette. Breakup yeah, etiquette. Post-breakup etiquette. <coughs> oh, God. So, sadly, things do come to an end every now and then. Or you yeah. get divorced. <laughs> Yeah. After 22 <laughs> years with three kids. Wow, sounds like a little bitter, huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Well, yes, uh, since our focus is more on a college setting, we're not going to talk about getting divorced, because if you got married while or before college, you're an idiot. But and then your oldest son will never talk to you again. 
<laughs> I don't know if to laugh at this or not. It's kind of sad. <laughs> All right. Anyway. And then your father will die, and then we'll go to his funeral. So let's start with our favorite part of breaking up. The actual breaking up? Well, no, the sex. Um, what do you the mean, the sex? The sex is the best sex. I like the whole world who has break No, no, it's actually, actually post breakup sex like, is pretty it's pretty good. It's like half angry sex, like half I miss you sex. Yeah. Half like, like I'm gonna make you That's love actually you really sex. true. Like, yeah, I'm gonna There's make so you many emotions sex. going on during that post breakup sex that it just kinda of amplifies it to a very high level. Mm -hmm. That's actually really true. Yeah. Huh. But before we go, I'm gonna go over some like mm -hmm. breakup situations here. And kind of comment on them. We're gonna have a little discussion on it. So. Is your voice hoarse? Yeah, Mardi Gras. Oh yeah. my God. You guys should call us. Mardi Gras. Um, Ask us anything. But yeah, uh, let's start off with the easiest breakup, or the I guess less time to go to breakup. The breakup that happens when you start dating somebody for a little bit, and then you realize that hey, this shit's just not gonna work. How do you go about that? How you guys do you haven't, go? Like, moved from the, the the friend part of the relationship into like the we actually like each other part of the relationship. No, I think it's more like, like you, you met. Just say, like, let's just be friends again. I feel like it's more like uh, you met, talked a couple of times. You might maybe be dating, and then uh, sure something like, like that. Like, 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 oh, is oh, anything yeah, really between you know after more than gets the first or second date? You know, when y'all actually start getting a little bit invested in it. Maybe, maybe some physical stuff going on, but definitely not to the point where y'all are talking about being in a monogamous relationship. So that breakup, how do you, how do you handle that? So I have to say that I'm actually very bad about stop this. Phone calls. Yeah, that's what I do too. See, I don't. That's, that's really, really bad thing to do, fine. though. No, I think, but I think it's, it's a distant. good situation if you're both on the same page to take advantage of. Um, just because, I'm, obviously, if you're on the same page, it's a good way to start off a little. Uh, fuck buddy relationship. <laughs> that's true. Good lord. Yeah. So, you know, it could work that way. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I never, I never was really hip to the whole thing of stop returning or somebody's phone call start texting. I mean, just be upfront and be like, hey, I'm not really feeling this. I'll tell you that. Hmm, He's just not out twice. Common humanity. I I'm sorry. I necessarily. So you believe in non-humane behavior? Yeah, that's what you define it. And that's what I define that as. Wait, what did you define that as? Non-humane behavior. No. I feel like it's appreciation for another human human being and their emo emotions, whether they're your deep friend or not. What is but a like deep two, friend? Two date stage, there shouldn't be that many emotions. They, 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 they have to be any emotions. The they're a human being. being. <laughs> <laughs> they are a human being. You, you, it's at a common courtesy. So, so how did that conversation go, Justin? Hey. You've been on two dates, and I know that you don't really know if you like me or not. Not only if I like you or not, but... We need to stop. It's not working. I don't like you. Yes, and that's it. No, I think it, it doesn't warrant that <laughs> I mean, at all. most people can take a hint, like, okay, exactly. she's not texting me. See, you know what? Girls she's always say this shit, but great. then one of the main complaints I hear from girls is, why does he keep on texting me? Why does he keep on calling me? I haven't answered this phone call in two weeks. Well, maybe if you get answered and said, hey, I don't want to talk to you more, then guess what? You went yeah, out to worry about the texting work. phone calls. Have you tried it really? Yeah, I've actually. Well, How many times? I think a couple times. times. All right. Three, three times. All right. Because All right. chances are, if she's not texting you back and you just stop, she's more likely to come back to you because we like the hard to get things. So maybe. That's take a hint. Maybe it'll like turn out the, right, the way you want it. <laughs> you never know. She's not texting you. Play hard to get. So clearly, okay. you guys are fans of yes. If it's that early in the stage, it's cut it completely, completely off. What about the possible? What about the positive? No, move back into like friend zone. Okay, but how do you move, how do you even move back into friend zone if you don't even return a text? Go from texting no, you can like return, exactly twenty times a day to five times a day to, to once one a, day, a day to twice a week to not. Y'all are thinking way too much about this. Sounds can so you just complicated when it has to, has to be? You can say, no, hey, I, let's I, get. I thought just not. Okay, not you know what? Case. For once, I agree with Justin. You think that's rude? So I usually scale back. I agree with Justin. Actually, I think you just be like. Hey, I'm not interested. Simple Just say that. it. It's be so simple and right. so effective. But how, how? Why would you not do it? It's crazy. See, to me. What if you're also I can't believe I just agree with Justin. I didn't come out and say I'm not interested because... You might be interested later when exactly. you're drunk. Exactly. Yes, when I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like booty calls. <laughs> oh my God. Take it. Damn. <laughs> I don't really care about your emotions. Right. Sorry. Fair enough. <laughs> 
Well, <laughs> you're a strong yeah, woman. Yeah, we have some divergent <laughs> issues here, but let's let's take it a little more serious, though. Any callers? Um, yeah, you should call us 615-322-2975. All right. So what if what if it is more of a uh, must be an 18 or older to call? More of you like a hook up or fuck buddy. Still non monogamous, but you guys have been having sex for a pretty decent time, I guess. I mean, it doesn't matter how long, really. But well, more, then you more, want to of, more of the fuck buddy style than of the actual. See, you really wait. don't owe them any communication. Well, yes, you do. Especially if it's if like. If it started off as like, I think I might like you, and like we've gone on like two or three days, in the first scenario, then maybe I owe you some communication. But if we're just fuck buddies, and I said, I don't want to fuck you anymore. I don't owe you communication. We're not dating. We're not going out on dinner date. We're not. But what, what if you guys really? like? No, but if you just anymore. if you decide to be fuck buddies and you're like, okay, we're fuck buddies or whatever, and then you establish that. Are you monogamous fuck buddies? Well, it doesn't matter because you're fuck matters. buddies. I don't think I don't think it matters at this like with this yeah, conversation at least. So right, and so you have to say next time if they're used to having sex with you like on a regular basis, and then they like they try to make an advance, and you're like, uh, no, then they get all confused. You have to be like, you know what? I'm not really interested in being your fuck buddy anymore. See, that's yeah, what I told. I think, uh, I'm kind of dating this guy right now, even if I'm not. And I think I might like stick with him. That's cool. I've done that before. I think the lack of communication is, is fine too, because that kind of I don't know. I don't know. I, would, see, I, I feel, feel like, like when it you open for like future. I would almost stuff. feel like the fuck buddy situation. It depends. Like for some fuck buddies, one person always initiates the the you know actual meetup. The fuck buddy so is. So if you're the one who initiates the fuck buddiness, like every Stop time, like you're like, then you can just stop init initiating it. And if he or she never hits you back, then you know yeah. they're really not missing you that much. So then I that's know, cool. Yeah. But if it's like one of those, though, what's that? I know too. Like I guess completely contradicting myself. But if you're on the fuck buddy level, you guys are probably on the same page anyway. And so like any awkwardness with like breaking that up. It's probably not going to be there like it would be in if you guys are like kind of dating. So I could be like, I ain't trying to fuck you no more, and it should be expected that. Still right. on me. <laughs> like, Lord, why does she say it like Kevin that? Loves Justin. Dude. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, Justin, move your mouth so it looks like I, so it looks like you're talking. <laughs> 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 um, no, but it should be easier to like to verbally break up a fuck buddy thing than it should be to break up. I a definitely agree. Thing. Yeah, that. I think so. I, I, I feel the same way. It is easier. With this so I'm changing sides. More physical and less emotional involved with it. Point. Yeah, and you can say just like, yeah, like not right now. And then if that changes in two months and you're looking for a fuck buddy again and they're there, like, if you're not opposed to it, just be like, hey, you know. How about, now, how about what about interactions post the fuck buddy breakup? I mean, like, what's, what's the appropriate, you know, etiquette there? I, I it's guess. only awkward if you make it awkward. Yeah. And okay. also depends That's on like, so what true. you guys were before you were fuck buddies. Like, were you guys friends and then moved into fuck buddiness, or like, were you guys like, I saw you at a bar and I like your boobs. So. True. True. Yeah. What like the hell? Like, Who I, says I, that? I, I, I feel like. I don't know, but we're talking I mean, about like the real practical, too. unguarded world here. I like your boobs. I would I like be boobs. in that mindset of like not. <laughs> I wouldn't be like I like your boobs. <laughs> 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 I wonder if they heard that. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, I would say that uh, if you guys really didn't have any connection before being fuck buddies, then it's kind of okay to go back to that because y'all really don't have anything other than fucking. That's true. But what if what if y'all were friends before, or at least somewhat acquainted? You should probably remain somewhat friends. Okay. I think at you know who awkward. you know who we should invite to be a guest on our show. Carol Swain. Carol Swain. <laughs> Who's Carol Swain? Who are these names y'all drawing? The Life? Non-discrimination. Yes, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Inside the world. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. So I think we'll be the best thing. Well. Can we please invite her? I think we should send her an invitation with a link to all of our shows and tell her, you know, she should come in here and argue with us. There we go. And no one wants to hear any bullshit about her degrees. No bullshit. <laughs> I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that shit. No shit. No shit. Not shit. <laughs> 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 Stop <Stay straight. laughs> that. <laughs> All right, moving on, moving on. I guess on. I shouldn't like say that if they don't get it because they're like, oh my God, she's advocating for slavery. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Never mind. She is. Um, <laughs> what about if it's a little bit more than just a fuck buddy, but less than, you know, like a strong monogamous relationship? Let's call it a semi-monogamous buddy. What in the fuck, Justin? Not at all. A semi-monogamous buddy? <laughs> semi-monogamous buddy. Where do you come up with these terms? <laughs> 
See, I'm so I'm so I'm so anti terms and stuff that yeah, when I when that is, is that is that when I when I have to use them, they usually don't make too much sense. So well, this is like this is when it's your boy, not when it's like your boyfriend. He's just your boy right now. There we go. There you go. Your boo. Yeah, he's like yeah. the boo piece, or she's the boo piece. My boy's has to get come or, back. Or like boy thing. A boy thing that works too, you know. We're just a thing right now. Boy toy. Yeah. So a little more, a little bit more serious, a little more emotions involved than what a fuck buddy is. But like not boobs. But. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I got him. Yes, we like boobs. But uh, but not quite to the point where it's like I'm calling her or calling him my boyfriend or girlfriend for whatever for whatever reason. Well, well, you know I what, I think... I don't like boobs, I'm just not sure. You know what, I think you that know. for any breakup situation, you have to look at the situation and deal with that situation. That's a clean cut to the shot. That's... that's the end, yep. yep. Okay, so we're going on this situation. <laughs> it depends. Give me, like, okay, so, so, like, Bonnie and Carla are dating. Why are you eating your pizza? Why not? Zoom in on Justin, zoom in on Justin. Do it! Zoom in on Justin! <laughs> 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 Can you guys hear always, him smacking? Always. Can you hear that? Mm. Stop oh it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> too close, too close. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways. Yeah. You guys see that big piece of oregano on his tooth? Yeah, really? God, y'all are so yeah. mean to each other. Alright, but so, like, really though, like, is this, would this be any more different than breaking up from just a regular fuck buddy? Mm. We just so say you have a little different. I think it's more similar to a real breakup, but just less emotional. I think you just kind of got to be like, you know, you're not really feeling this anymore. Yeah. Okay. But here's the thing about this. Like, this one actually has emotion involved. So post-breakup, how are you guys interacting now? Because at this point, I mean, y'all were more than just meeting up and fucking. Maybe had some actual social interaction. I don't know about like y'all, but emotions event. freak me out. So <laughs> I just, like, don't talk to them. Like, I don't even know you exist anymore. Damn. Damn. Oh, remind me never to date you. <laughs> right? What? So I'm not sure, like, how you're going to act, so I'm just going to not deal with yeah, that. Yeah, it's just so much easier to pretend I don't exist. We're really Good good Lord. I see, I see. Just as long so, as you so, so y'all don't even want to like value the potential friendship and time that y'all have invested into it. You can't you can't and remain it also friends. Also depend on what you guys were before the semi. What is but it? See, semi see, monogamous buddy. Sure, whatever. If I'm emotionally <laughs> distraught about it, that's when I'm going to just pretend yeah. you don't exist. Okay, if I'm so not, if it was like I a be friends with you. so if it was like a bad breakup. Oh, it's because like, your emotions freak you out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> So if it was like a bad break, <laughs> I'm trying to get clarification. Interrupt here. it one more time. Okay, ready? So if it was like, <laughs> so if like a bad breakup or something, you know, like one where it's like I don't know, something went wrong, then that would be where you were more inclined so to, to not us. to not interact. You know what the worst yeah. breakup oh, yeah, I've ever had is? I think you did something wrong. Yeah. What if it, what if it what if it was a mutual? Mutual. The, it really ever happens, but I mean. I mean All in favor of Justin I, with a raspy voice instead of regular Justin, say aye. I think aye. Um, so the worst breakup I ever had was when someone sent me a text message that says, I can't deal with this anymore, we're over. That's dramatic. So text on Isn't that a little dramatic? That's, dramatic? that's what you get for like dating queens. Uh huh. There you go. It, it's okay. true, it's bad. Hail. You can't deal with it. So, also, also, I'm not a fan of the non descriptive text breakup. Tell me why. Like, yeah, if you're gonna be like, we're done, then it'll be it'd be nice if you kind of gave a little bit more details as to why. Do not break up over text, first of all. Yeah, that's, that's if you're true. gonna do it over text, just don't do it. Like, don't don't. Yeah. Do it at all. If you're not in the same place, like say that you're in Nashville and your significant other's in I don't know, Hong Kong. Or there. <laughs> Out of all places. <laughs> or you know Brazil, whatever. At least do a Skype video chat breakup. Hey, hey Ann. That was my friend Ann Ding. She's so nice. <laughs> yeah. Do a Skype video chat breakup. That's the me next best thing yeah, to face-to-face. Face -to -face. So. There you go. Skype it. Can you please please? Yeah. All right. Moving on to more deeper shit. More deeper deeper shit. shit. This is the stuff starts getting real. More deep shit. Let me make sure, <laughs> let me make sure we're timing this correctly because we're actually running out of time. Ten minutes? Cool. We can make this happen. <laughs> Why are you... You know, another reason to break up with someone? If they vote for Rick Santorum. 
I agree. What? <laughs> I'm just not gonna open my mouth about politics. <laughs> I feel like you're being on the show, says Plenty. <laughs> about <laughs> your politics. What the text is supposed to be. My friend, what the, and why are you nom, 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 and now love these hoes? Carrie, what the hell is that I know that exactly mean? what that means. Oh, you, do you really? Yes. It means A, why are you... Can we stop talking about Justin's what? personal life right now? B, Cole, and the rest of our okay. audience are completely no, lost. About I'm about pretty sure... Oh, okay, okay. Okay, uh, so got you, got you. Madeline. Okay, thank you. So, what was the worst breakup that you've ever had? Can you zoom in on us? We're just gonna we're gonna have the show over here. All right, little, little, no, move the camera over here. You can, okay, so Madeline and I, what's the worst sort of breakup that you've ever had? All right, so so guys, what about you guys went into? So you guys, you guys went into the actual exclusiveness with title, all that, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend relationship. Maddie still hasn't answered my question. But it's kind of, it ended oh, after more of a short, oh, caller. Yeah. Hey, it's SexRx. Hey, it's SexRx. Oh. Ah! Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> If you get this we need we, we Michelle to call okay. us back and let us know how our orgasm went. But, uh, okay, so you're in a short-term relationship. Not short yeah. So you got an exclusive title, girlfriend, boyfriend, but it didn't last that long, and now you guys are breaking up for whatever reason. Let's say the reason was amiable, you know, mutual. You know, you know amiable marketing. means friendly, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, friendly just, breakup. okay, there you go, okay. I oh. think it's a mutual. Hello, Sex hey, Oh, you got, you got fucking on, jokes, huh? Funny you got that fucking jokes, huh? Right? Ask the question. I'm joking. But, uh, okay, cool. Uh, you know I, what? In any break, just grow a pair and say, you know what? I don't want to see you anymore. I'm offended by that. Why? Because she doesn't have balls and she can't grow them. Actually, I do have ovaries, and those actually take more beatings than you guys see sometimes. So. Okay, anyways. What, um, what are you offended by? The grow a pair part? Yeah. Well, then don't, don't grow a pair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for, for, to, to <laughs> what the more, hell is that you want to do? <laughs> to entice more conversation, let's compare if y'all were an exclusive title for, the, for like a short term. <laughs> I was really about to say that. What, what in the world? <laughs> so exclusive right. for short term. Really trying to stand as ally. long term. So if y'all have been dating for, you know, I guess, I don't know, what's the cut between short term and long term? Are you guys, do you guys still consider yourself dating or just like No, together? this is like exclusive, I'm calling that's her true. my that's girlfriend. That's short term, long term. But what if y'all, so, what if y'all only started calling each other girlfriend, boyfriend for like a week and then y'all broke up? That's no different than y'all being girlfriend, boyfriend, for, uh, where's the cutoff? Sometimes when I, you stop dating, like if someone asks you, oh, are, are, when, how long are you guys These dating things or, don't are matter. you guys together or dating? If no. someone asks you, are you guys a thing and you say, <laughs> oh, we're dating. That means like we're still in the getting to know each other process. I want okay. like, oh, yeah, camera. Together. Come here, camera. The other means like I camera. Got you. There you go. Fine. Okay. I got you. Okay. And the camera on us. It's okay. Cool. But at at okay. one point you get. So what is the worst right? breakup? Yes. Message that you've ever had. At that point, you guys what? break up like a I month after that. Worst breakup. Most of the time. Yeah. Is that no different than breaking I'm up a year after that? You're the one doing it. So when you broke up with someone, what was it like? No, think so. Okay. I, well, what, do you, what do you usually say? Okay. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. I'm bad at this. I, got, got I don't actually break up with people. I have them break up with themselves. <laughs> the hell do you do that? Okay, so how do you do that? Well, yeah, how do you, I play how do you mind do that? games, so they think that it's them. And mm. then they're like, you know, I'm really like... I'm not, I don't know you are a I'm wretched going. person. <laughs> I know. Good Lord. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, that's just, it's easier for me that way. I mean, it kind of drags out for an extra month longer than I'd Good rather Lord. be. Good Lord. But then I don't have to be the bad guy. Actually, I do and that too. And then when I tell people that we broke up, I'm like, oh, well, he did it. That's a good point. I always kind of make people <laughs> be the bad guy. <laughs> so, Cause feel it bad. works. And they'll always, like, be indebted to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and then when I get hotter afterwards, it's like, that's right. You broke you up with this. Your, yeah. <laughs> so how? So what about post breakup relationships? Like, how, how do you handle them down the road after the breakup? Just give them space to process. Mm -hmm. I think whether it was short or long, if there was a lot of emotional involvement, the more distance between the two of you, the better. 
because like you're not going to get over that person if they're constantly right there reminding you like bringing up those old feelings That's yeah very true. i uh go out go find someone new if you're attached to that person and just you know you know you know what you don't actually need to find anyone new be yourself you know what Get under somebody else. See, I disagree. I'm a proud. I feel like the best way to get proud. over somebody is to find somebody else. Okay. It's kind of, yeah, you know what? That's true. Never mind. Yeah, I think I think that's like it's actually it's it, actually it true. It kind of restores your confidence in yourself. It does. As much as people true. say like you got to be yourself, you can't base yourself off of like who you're with. But finding someone else and realizing that like hey, I still got it, kind of does that. It's a new sense of agency. We've got five minutes left, so everyone wants to have like the post like into the show call. Yeah, six one five three two 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 nine seven five. Yeah. Michelle, how'd your orgasm go? Let us know. Please let us know, Michelle. But um, really graphic detail. Well, I was gonna say, I forgot I was gonna say. You know, really good would suffice. You know, <laughs> it's all. Really graphic. But yeah. Uh, also, what the fuck was I gonna say? Yeah, I'll just keep on talking. Let me think here. <laughs> But back to the sex part. So post breakup sex. Yeah. So, so is that okay? How do you like? What do you guys think about staying fuck buddies with an ex? I don't think that's a good it idea. It depends on how much emotion is involved. Well, yeah, no, that's yeah. If if it's an ex where there's actually a lot of emotion involved, I would say maybe have that cool post breakup fucking for like a couple weeks, maybe. But if you drag it out too much longer, this is a, it's a lot of emotion. I would emotion say don't do it around. at all if there's emotion involved. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Just nah, like then hold you off out. until there is then you, then you I feel miss like if, you, the if you're at the point in the relationship where it just needs to end and both of you realize it, like you might as well just keep doing that because it satisfies your physical needs. Your emotional needs were no longer met by that person anyways. It's not like it was a heartbreak, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you know? I don't know. I feel like even if the relationship ended on like friendly terms, if y'all were at the point where y'all were like exclusive for a significant period of time, then there's still gonna be emotion in involved, whether it was a friendly breakup or, or not. Like, those emotions just don't go away that quickly. At least not for me, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, 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 I, think, I think post breakup, you just need to, you just need space. You need to just get the hell away from each other. I had to delete my exes from Facebook. And download a blocker thing on your phone. No. Don't, don't. Oh, you we don't. don't need to get personal here, Candace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that space is the best thing for a clean breakup. Like, if you want to actually be broken up with that person and mm -hmm. trying to, like, legitimately get over them. But post-breakup sex is pretty phenomenal. And if you have, if you, if you give each other space, you're missing out on that. To keep you, no, no it doesn't. It doesn't work. The distance, same six months later distance all creates an emotionally and mentally stable person. Right. Post breakup <laughs> sex probably does not. It doesn't, but it does create a good time. Sex isn't everything. It's not. It's not. But it should be weighed properly. See, but if you get to the point in your relationship before you've broken up that you're pretty much just fuck buddies anyways, and there's no sure. emotional attachment. Just end it and keep that part going. <laughs> that's, true. That's, that's, that's true. It depends. You know, it depends on each each case. You can't really just say blanket terms. I mean, that is a very well, unique like a case. Like Most people get out of it before then. Yeah, definitely so. so yeah, one minute. Oh, shit. We got one no. minute left. All right, guys. Well, you don't call now because ever. time's running out. But You better have 50 calls next minute. Yeah, and we need some phone calls, guys. You guys are really slacking off this message. Can we talk uh, about, like, more sex stuff? Well, like yeah, how to I mean, give like, I want to get into, I'm like, running the launchy, I'm like, running out of sex topics. We've already done so fucking many. I'm, I'm well, running out. Well, it's not like everyone's like watched them. Semester. So I mean, let's do them again. I rehash you old topics. Email Justin with, like, sex topics. I mean, I wish, yeah. I wish my co-host would email me with sex topics, you know, they're the ones after we the I will email you with some sex topics. That'd be great. Maybe at the end of the week. I got a busy week. How to give head. But, yes. We'll use bananas and everything. I feel like we've done that already. We haven't. Okay, fine. Why do we do that? Next week we will have a discussion. I have some new stuff because on I how to not give head. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, girl. Yeah. Next episode we'll have a discussion on how to give on how to give head. So tune into that. To Next men Tuesday and women. At ten o'clock, we'll that. cover men and women, and uh, it should be a, it should be an interesting topic. So I'll talk to y'all then.
Ciao. Have a great week. Like the grill up, the chug night's gone. Feel it a little time to watch another storm and let the okay, good so times sizzle to you. Skin it to hits from Dylan mixed with the Miller, the Guinness, the Goose in the cellar, down by the river. When no one used to watch us take ill, having a shot of anything that made our worlds become sicker. Down by the lawn with the stones, the lights still on. Stay in the cold in my zone. My night's still young, calling my phone. Is my two friends who just came quick, laughing and thinking about the plans we made to take more risks. So we were hopping off ideas, knew we had to get. Big. We should get the band together for tonight and just gig.